Now, you, this governor, Governor Atiku Bagudu, tried to become governor on the platform of the PDP in 20, um, 2014. He did not succeed and eventually had to cross to your party where within hours you allowed his dream of becoming the governorship candidate to come to fruition. Looking back, do you feel betrayed by a man that you allowed to leverage on your popularity to become governor? Do you admit that you made an error of judgment in allowing Atiku Bagudu to cross to the um, APC and become governor of the state? <clears throat> there was no error of judgment whatsoever in what I did. I still stand that I was correct. However, human beings can change, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, it is not peculiar to Kevin State alone. But actually, if you look at the whole states of the Federation, the story is the same. Whether you are talking of Zamfara, Kano, uh, Jigawa, uh, Akwa Ibom, uh, Rivers, the story is the same. Uh, people that you help to become governors, they end up having issues with you. Uh, not necessarily because you wanted something, but simply because they want to boost their own ego. They want to be in control, and that's exactly what the governor wanted. He wanted everything to uh, be under his full control. Uh, and we told him that, well, you have the control of the government. Nobody will disturb you if you want to control the government. Uh, it's a noble area as far as we are concerned. We, we then tell you to appoint so-so and so to a position, uh, either as a commissioner, a divider, or whatever. But the party is the vehicle that belongs to all of us. We don't allow anybody to come and dominate the party to the extent that uh, we will not have a vehicle to come and realize our ambition. I think that's the bone of contention. I don't feel, you know, betrayed. I don't regret the action I took in supporting him uh, to be the governor. Uh, rather, I leave him to his conscience, and I leave him also to the people of Kebbi State who will decide on whether he's right or wrong. At what point did you notice that Governor Bagudu had really changed. At what point did you begin to sense that this was not the person that you invested your support in? Mm. To be honest with you, I realized that as far back as 2017 and 2018, right. but I decided to be patient. I decided to swallow everything because I didn't want to pick quarrel with somebody I assisted to become governor. Uh, regardless of uh, our differences, I felt the best thing that a, a leader should do is to find a way of managing the situation. Unless if it is totally impossible before you can make it known outside. And that's exactly what myself and my followers had done in KB. Uh, it not because of this issue of the world congresses and the local government congresses. Maybe nobody will even hear anything about what is happening in KB. Uh, I know what happened in other states. If you assist somebody to become governor, he will... Uh, dictate on who will become commissioner, who will become advisor, who will have appointment at the federal level. I never for once 
ask him to appoint anybody, either as a commissioner or as an advisor. Uh, I let him to, this, to form his own government without any interference whatsoever. Uh, not even to assist people to get contracts. I never did that. And I want you to ask him. So, uh, the point of departure with me was when he wanted to control the party, total control of the party, to the extent of excluding anybody that is close to me or associated with me. That is unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. Now, this thing keeps happening all the time. Keeps happening. Why, why does, why do we keep seeing this kind of behavior? We have by you help someone to get to political prominence, and then once that person um, uh, uh, receives your support and, be, and clinches power, it begins to turn against you. Why, why is this so rampant in Nigerian politics? What was going on? Yeah, I agree with you. It's very rampant in Nigerian politics, but it's human nature. And my own philosophy is that uh, if you assist somebody, don't expect to get anything in return. Do it because of the Almighty God. And whatever happens, you leave the man to his conscience and let the people decide. Uh, in most cases, nemesis will, will, will catch up with them. And that is the way I think uh, uh, we should take it.